here we have a sector that combines agriculture with marketing and tourism and of course business. I mean, how would you describe the the evolution of the the BC wine industry? Right. Since my very first involvement uh, in the industry, which goes back to 1998, uh, as an employee at a Kelowna area winery, it has grown, especially within the last five to eight years, just grown so rapidly um, and impressively. There are over 300 licensed wineries in British Columbia now, uh, about 280 to 290 up and down the Okanagan Valley, where, where I now live. And uh, it's been just such a pleasure to see the robustness of the industry. Not sure that that's a word that's really quite right to use today uh, for the factors that we'll get into. But uh, it's it's just been an explosion of interest um, on the, by the by the consumer, but also very much by people from other walks of life who really bring a passion, uh, mostly to the smaller and medium sized wineries, family owned businesses, um, and uh, they're they're feeling the pinch. A little bit now. So I think there's some uh, adjustments that are, are underway in the industry really as we speak right now. Okay, well, that's encouraging to hear. So if it's not robust now, um, when did things start to get complicated? Well, for some, in some ways, they've been complicated for a very long time. If you work in the wine industry, or produce any regulated beverage, uh, there's a lot of public policy uh, requirements around that, rightly so, um, alcohol is an intoxicant. Um, but there's uh, an array of, because as you mentioned, all of these aspects to the industry, so from agriculture to tourism, um, so many facets that come into it, there's really a dizzying array of uh, regulations that uh, winery owners or would-be winery owners and operate, operators need to follow. Um, there are an array of taxes, of course, that need to be paid both by really all along the supply chain. That ends up uh, costing the consumer in, in the glass and in the bottle, as we're seeing now, there, there is a bit of a slowdown in the, um, in the rate of purchases and in sales as tracked by the BC Liquor Distribution Branch uh, recently, that is certainly a concern. It's a difficult, it's a capital intensive industry, and uh, it's a bit of a difficult industry to make a, even a little bit of money. <laughs> 